What's going on, everybody? I'm pro singer David Braley, and today I'm here with an audition analysis. I'm going to check out some auditions from The Voice and give you tips for any of your future upcoming auditions. Let's not waste any time. Here we go. All right, we're going to stop right there before he even opens his mouth. Very simple, very quickly. Guys, the first three seconds you have, the moment you walk into that door, is the first time that's your first impression, right? That's the first time these people get to see you, these, these uh, auditioners, uh, the people behind the table. And they pay close attention to what you're wearing, how you walk into the room, how you speak to the pianist or whatever musician or whoever's going to take your music to put into the, uh, the MP3 player or the uh, piano player, whatever it may be. They're eyeing you up and down, and within three seconds, they've made up their mind as to whether or not they like you. It's an unfortunate fact, and I hate it. Trust me, I have been on enough auditions to know that, man, they hated me the minute I walked in because I wore jeans, um, because I, had a, I didn't have a button-down shirt on. Something that silly. Now, I have to be very honest with you. We also, I also understand we are in a time and day and age where sometimes people just don't have nice clothes because they can't afford them for whatever reason and that's it's nothing to say so your biggest thing you need to do to remember is to get the best clothing that you have regardless of what it is if it's your favorite or your best t-shirt the best hat your sunday hat whatever it may be wear it and wear it proudly let's take a look at this gentleman here the unfortunate fact is is that a lot of a lot of people on the other side of the table would say that he is inappropriately dressed to audition for a working job i i didn't say it this is just what's going forward i think he rocks it perfectly fine i think because this is the voice and it's about the work, I'm okay with what he's wearing. Um, I would prefer a button-down shirt, and that's really about it. Maybe a collar. That's it. And don't get me wrong, I don't buy any of this, oh, well, I'm just a jeans and t-shirt guy, so I don't dress up. No, if you have it and you, dress up, and you have something to dress into, dress up. If you don't have it, then it's totally do what you can with what you have. Does that make sense? Let me stop talking. Let's get to the song. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as ring the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for supporting. Let's get back to it. Used to spend my nights at the bar. <laughs> All right. See, this is a great lesson. If you notice in the beginning of the song, he wasn't really in time. He started off the song and then it waited and the tempo was kind of all over the place. He, re re he rebounded. He, so he got himself straight. He took his time and now he got himself into that pocket. He found his groove. He found that pocket. That's huge. Just because you make a single mistake, you might have messed up a word. <clears throat> a phrasing, maybe you cracked on a note, maybe you did give the pianist uh, the improper tempo. It's your chance to rally, and that's huge if you can do it in an audition setting. Because it shows the auditioners that basically here's a person that put into a rough spot, they can rally, they can come back, they're able of, they're, they're capable of seeing, being a part of, or making a mistake and coming back and fixing it. That's huge. That's really, really huge. There's nothing like your love to get me hurt. Woo! I love it. 
Oh, man. Like, can you be mad at that? See, this is another great point. When you come into an audition, you need to come in with material that you know like the back of your hand. This man just nailed that run without any problems. He didn't even think twice about it because he probably sat in his room with that guitar and went over it and over it and over it and over it and over it until he nailed it without even thinking about it. That was brilliant. And that's what Kelly Rowland was waiting for, too. I believe that's Kelly. That's what she was waiting for, too. She was waiting to hear that riff. See, are you going to get that riff? Because that's a tough one to hit. I've practiced it. It is very, very tough. And he just sails right through it. I love his tone. Beautiful tonality in his voice. Um, I loved that big note that got all three people to come up. That's another one. You want to show off your notes. You only have anything from, in this case, a minute to 30 seconds, 16 seconds, sometimes 16 bars of music, sometimes 32 bars of music. But within that 32 bars of music, you need to show them what you can do. That means hitting those high notes. That means telling a story, acting the hell out of the tune. Um, and, and he's really, he's really doing all of it. It's fantastic. Make this a note. Really know your, your material when you go into an audition. And he does. Hey, everybody, if you're enjoying the content and you would like to see the channel grow, why don't you join us over on Patreon? On Patreon, we're going to have exclusive episodes of reactions, music history, as well as live streaming and performance behind the scenes of my travels and everything there in between all wrapped up in one place. I hope to see you over there. Until then, let's get back to it. Honey, I say so. That was fantastic. Guys, always end strong. You want to end strong. That's just key to pretty much any any audition, any interview. You always want to walk out of that room on a high note. That means a high note or a note that's just so, so captivating that really draws them in. Your goal is to stop them from writing in their books. Pay attention to you, right? Enjoy what you're doing. You're giving a performance for those 16 bars, 32 bars, 30 seconds, or one minute. You're giving a performance. Give it. Know the music. Show up super prepared. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Rebound. It shows the auditioners that you can, and that's huge. Come dressed for the job that you want with what you have. Don't, don't, don't break your back. This is an audition. There's millions of auditions. You wear the wrong, the wrong outfit to one, you got the next one. Trust me, there's tons of auditions out there. You'll be fine. Guys, I had a great time doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something to uh, take away with it. Um, until next time, I'll catch you all on the flippity flop. Bye. <laughs>